uh, Metro Wind Fund Starden is uh, one of the 28 preferred independent power producers that has been selected in the first bidding window for renewable energy in South Africa. Basil Reed owning a 35% stake in Metro Wind. Just give us a little more, bit more insight into this wind farm, how much it's projected to cost to build and when you expect it to start a construction on that. Well, the wind farm has been in development for about the last five or six years. Um, it's been a long road to get to where we are today, um, which we're very, very happy about. Um, the plant is uh, uh, 27 megawatts in capacity. Um, total cost is about 450 million rand. And um, we're hoping to reach financial close uh, by June of 2012 and commence construction the month thereafter. Now, the farm is a 26.19 megawatt wind farm. Total capacity that was allocated in this first window was over 633 megawatts. Uh, that's around 4% of the total allocated uh, goes towards this wind farm. Uh, is this, were you hoping to get a bigger chunk of, of the wind pie? No, not at all. Um, the farm has always been designed as uh, roughly 27 megawatts. Um, we're putting in nine three megawatt turbines. Um, so we got exactly what we, what we applied for. And overall, uh, you know, what percentage of the projects did Basil Reed uh, walk away with? Was this just the only project or were you hoping that uh, some of the other bids would have gone through? Well, as Basil Reed Energy, which is uh, an, an investment arm of, of Basil Reed, we only went with the one project, which we were successful with. Um, our EPC business um, have tended on a lot of other um, renewable projects that were submitted for the round one bids and um, we're waiting to hear the results of those EPC tenders. We had a lot of withdrawals of bids in round one, given, uh, given, given the competitive nature of the business, also looking to uh, perhaps get your bids in order. Uh, are we likely to see a more competitive round two going forward? I think round two is going to be a completely different kettle of fish. Um, the, you know, when, when the bid documents came out from the Department of Energy, um, I think we were all caught a little bit by surprise at uh, just how onerous the, the bid commitment was. Um, Treasury were very uh, clear that uh, if your bid did not uh, comply with their requirements, your bid bond would be uh, called upon. Um, so people took that very, very seriously. And um, I think it's been great that um, government has taken a very strong uh, line on this. And um, they've received a lot of praise for a very, very professional bidding process. Tell us about uh, Basil Reed Energy's strategic plans. Is this a shift away from your reliance on construction? Yeah, Basil Reed has, has uh, always seen uh, and always looked to, to optimize its, its ability in the marketplace. Energy is, is, a, is a growth area. Um, with the acquisition of TWP in 2009, um, we, the focus on, on the energy sector that TWP had uh, spilled over into the Basel Reed strategy and, and aligned itself quite nicely with them. So we always have looked for these opportunities where we can enter into projects at an early stage as a co-developer and in doing that secure the construction and engineering work that's really our core business. Looking at the renewable energy sector, of course, uh, the, the, the awarding of these first uh, bids is really the heralding of a new sector in South Africa, especially, of course, in the energy space where we have a severe deficit in South Africa and Africa. Is renewable energy going to breathe some new life into the construction sector? I definitely think so. Um, you know, there's significant investment that's, that's going to be happening. I mean, our plant is, is relatively small. Um, and that's 450 million. Uh, some of the larger 75 megawatt uh, PV plants that have been awarded, they're in excess of 2 billion rand per project. Um, so there's a, a significant amount of, of, of investment that's going to be coming into the country, direct foreign investment as well. Um, unfortunately at, at the moment, but due to the infancy of, of, the, of the sector, uh, quite a lot of that capital will be going offshore to pay for wind turbines, PV panels and, and associated equipment. But nevertheless, um, the balance of plant work that will be done locally and the, command for, uh, the demand rather for um, local content from the bid process uh, is definitely going to stimulate the, stimulate the construction sector again. But of course, to warrant setting up manufacturing, we still need that scale in South Africa. Absolutely. And as you say, it's still in the infancy. Uh, what are your ambitions in the renewable energy space? Are you solely concentrating on renewable energies or are you focusing broadly on energy uh, and power? Basel Reed Energy is, is very much focused on, on energy in, a, in, a, in the broader context, um, particularly in the power generation space. Um, and, and also one of the other focus areas which, um, in my opinion, is, is uh, neglected to some extent at the moment in terms of government strategy is that of energy storage and um, how are we going to incorporate energy storage 
in conjunction with our power generation and, and particularly our renewable projects. Are you focusing in on Africa? Because we know there's also a severe deficit in Africa with regards to power. We're building our base in South Africa. Um, you know, the uh, Metro Wind Wind Farm is our first uh, large uh, utility size project. Um, and then once we've established ourselves and, and learned some of the hard lessons uh, that we've already learned and more to come, I'm sure. And dipping um, your toes into the African continent. Then we'll go up into Africa, yeah. Let's just uh, quickly get your views on COP17. We know Kyoto has now been extended for a second commitment period. Canada has pulled out. Mm. Uh, they made it very clear where their line stood with regards to that. There was a lot of rhetoric from the US at the beginning that they wouldn't commit to something legally binding. And to the yeah. surprise of many, we walked away with a kind of agreement to agree on a global <laughs> agreement by 2015. You know, a lot of ifs there. But what are your thoughts on COP17? Look, I think at least some agreement came out um, that was, was the positive. Um, you know, countries have, have got a very uh, nationalistic view of, of the, the commitments that they're making in terms of, of climate change and all of that, and there is still a lot of finger pointing going on. I think a global strategy has to be put in place, um, and I sincerely hope that the United Nations and other nations, you know, can really pull together and, and come up with a global strategy. Um, you know, if it's a case of, well, we'll only do something when so-and-so does something else or some, somebody else does something else, we're not going to get out of this mess. And um, it's real. Uh, no one can deny it. Uh, climate change is very, very real, and it's, it's impacting on the poorer nations. And um, I'm just glad that Basil Reed is, is doing something concrete in terms of making that change yeah. and making a difference.